Welcome everyone to Delight Channel where we have been talking about life life balance over the last couple of weeks. And last week I announced that we have now begun our descent into landing. And what are we talking about this week? We are trying to find out that after all that we've said about what life life balance is all about, what are the factors underpinning it? What are the factors predisposing us to imbalance? What are the consequences of imbalance? Why is it important that we study about finding the balance? The question then nagging my mind has been, why is it that so very few people are paying attention or doing anything about it? Why is it that most people just seem to carry on with their lives acting as if they are helpless, acting as if there is nothing that can be done, this is just the natural course and they are to just continue. This is the focus of this week's video and I invite you to come with us as we explore three points. It's not exhaustive, but for sake of time, I just want to focus on three reasons why life-life balance is so elusive and it seems to just be something most people are not paying attention to. The very first reason why I believe most people are not paying attention to life-life balance is that many people are not even aware of the fact that it is possible to live a life of balance. So, as we all know that we are products of our different socializations and cultures. So we grow up, you find your parents, all they do is run after job, they go, they come back, even though what they were doing then was just civil service or teaching. By three o'clock, everybody was home. I remember those days, all we had was this kind of TV set that looks like a cupboard and there was a key there. And then the stations will open at four and then they will probably do some test transition in the morning during holidays. And then in the evening, once it is after the 10 o'clock news or something like that, you have the movie for the day and that's it. And then we grew up into that system, but now, wait a minute, we are no longer closing at 4, we are no longer closing at 2, we are now out till 10, we are out till 11, we get home, everybody's asleep, for those that live in cities, you are out first light before they wake up, and we just follow like, that's the routine, there's nothing we can do about it. And that is one of the reasons why this video is being produced, and I have news for you. I will look you straight in the eyes and I'm telling you, yes, you can do something about it. You need to share this video with as many people as you know. Let them know, let them get this knowledge. We are not helpless when it comes to life-life balance. Why? The second reason why life-life imbalance persists is also the reason why we are not helpless, which is the fact that there is a faulty paradigm and a faulty orientation out there about life. And that's the reason why most people are carrying on. We are in this race that delivers no trophy. When Liverpool and Manchester City chase themselves and they are, they are going to any length to make sure they win all their matches, that's a trophy. What's the trophy? They want to win the league, they want to win the Champions League, they want to win the FA Cup, they want to win all the trophies. Why? The bragging rights, why? They make money, why? He pursues their career. But wait, who are you competing with? Who are you competing with? Okay, so when you now buy that bigger house than your friend, so what? At what cost? Remember what we said at the beginning is that the underpinning factors are one, the fact that time is limited, there's nothing you can do about it. And two is that there is this unnecessary competition, rivalry that delivers nothing. Because you sent your children to the most expensive school does not mean they will be better than the children that went to public school. As a matter of fact, if you follow the news, you'll be shocked that every year, every year, the best results for, for, for this um, school living certificate, for even getting to universities, come from children in where? Public schools most of the years. So what's the point? So this faulty paradigm, this faulty orientation make us feel that we're in a competition 
And that's what they call the rat race. And I've said it here and I'm saying it again. At the end of that race, we are still rats. So, you need to arrest yourself and check to say, okay, wait a minute. Why am I even going through this stress? Why am I working this number of jobs? Why am I not able to stop and give myself time to rewind, to unwind and to refresh? Why is it hard to stop and give time to my relationships? Why is it hard to, go, to stop and give time to my worship? Why? Is it because you are competing to buy things that you don't need, to impress people that you don't even know? What's the point? So, the factors militating is, one, people do not know. Let them know, share this video. Two, is the fact that there is a faulty paradigm and orientation out there which needs to be corrected. And the reason why that has to be is that most people do not pay enough attention to do the equation. We spoke about worship. One of the verses of the Bible that has been playing in my head for about a year now has been this very simple equation. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his, his soul? If he gains the whole world and loses his health? If he gains his whole world and loses his family? You know, there's a quote I saw somewhere that says that we spend all our life trying to get wealth and when we now get the wealth, we now start spending that wealth to try and get our health. What's the point? And I'd like to share a story with you here now. The story of a fisherman who was resting by the, sea sh by the, by the shore of the river having completed his fishing for the day. And while he was there, resting, a sharp young MBA Harvard guy just came to and said, Hey guy, what are you doing here? And I said, yeah, I've done my fishing for the day. I'm resting, just enjoying the view and soaking in the environment. And the MBA guy goes, oh, but you can fish more and, 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 and fish all day. And then you can fill trailers and fill containers and begin to export. And the fisherman asked him, and after that, what? And then you make so much money, you become international. The fisherman asked him again, after that, what? And then you can buy a yacht, you can, you can travel, you can, you can build big houses. The fisherman asked him again, after then, then what? And then you can now take time and relax and, and, then, and then enjoy the, and enjoy nature and enjoy the world. And the fisherman looked at him and said, my friend, that's exactly what I'm doing now. So, you need to arrest this faulty paradigm and this faulty orientation because it is one of the things that is killing and many times nobody's asking any question, we are just running with it. But like I said, you can do something about it. And the third, but certainly not the least, is the fact that many people lack the skills on the real how. So, yes, now I know. Yes, now I no longer want to run the rat race. But the question is, how do I get it done? Who can break it down for me on a day-to-day, activity-by-activity principle in a structured process that I can pick it up and start to apply it and then drive myself towards achieving that life-life balance? If you are in that boat, that will be the menu for the next video. You sure wants to make it a date here. Because in the next video, we will then go to so. In practical terms, what is the how? How do you go about achieving life-life balance? Either as an individual or even as an entrepreneur, how can you help your employees achieve life-life balance? Am I saying you're excited? Yes, I am. Many people need to hear this. I'm sure and I'm glad that you have heard it. And I'm sure that you know somebody who needs to hear it. So click that button, share it, send us some like, give us some comments. Let us know what else you'd like us to see cover as we begin to go nearer to touching ground as we continue our conversation around life, life balance. Ooh, I've enjoyed myself this week. Timak is still my name. Delight the channel. I look forward to seeing you next week. But until then, don't ever forget. All we are trying to do is what? Make a little difference. I'm sure to see you next week. Bye.